Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. KPMG this week released a report detailing the Gauteng's impact on Gauteng's economy. Irma Fenter joins us to discuss some of the highlights. Hi, Irma. Hi, Chanel. What contribution has the rapid rail system made to the provincial and national economies? The provincial government was quite pleased with the results of this study. I uh, said it was m much more positive than they anticipated. So you'd see the uh, 27 billion rand Gauteng project, they said, contributed around 20 billion rand to the provincial GDP uh, during construction. Uh, it took six years to construct, so during that time, 20 billion rand is quite a lot of money. Uh, construction sustained uh, 121,800 jobs and increased government revenue by an estimated 5 billion rand. So also that's quite positive. Lower income households received around 2 billion rand during construction, mainly through wages and salaries. So when you look at current heart rate operations, you'd see that um, the system contributes 1.7 billion rand a year to provincial GDP uh, while sustaining about 6,000 jobs. So that was in 2013. The system also increases government revenue by, ar by around 400 million rand a year with around 200 million rand of this, again, going to lower income households, again, through wages and salaries. Um, however, it's also necessary to note that the heart rate still receives a 900 million rand subsidy a year at the moment be to reach uh, to breach that income gap for the operator um, Bombella. So it's hopeful that as ridership increases that that uh, subsidy will decrease of course. So um, it is also important to note that all public transport receives um, a grant from government a, or a subsidy, even taxis, even though they argue with you because the DTI gives a grant for the local assembly of taxis in South Africa to ensure that the cost of those uh, taxis remain um, at a good value for the taxi operator. What impact has the Gauteng had on people's lives and on property developments? Well, that's also again quite positive. Uh, so um, what happened is that the Heart train reduces road congestion by around 21,300 road trips a day. So you can imagine there's 21,300 less people on the road during a day. So it's, it's quite a bit. Uh, property development was also again quite positive. Um, the KPMG report noted that around 10 billion rand was invested in new developments and upgrades to retail centers in a 10 kilometer radius around the station from 2009 to 2014. Um, another 1 billion rand was invested in office space. And then residential property saw an increase in property value of 12.9 billion rand. The Gauteng Management Agency also revealed earlier this week that it will be investing in new rolling stock and other infrastructure. Why is this necessary and how will that be financed? Well, I think Gauteng is really trying to increase their ridership. Um, so the, what happened now is that we need to increase ridership in some way or the other. Originally, it was thought, thought that seat churn would be high. In other words, a, a person would get on at Pretoria, get off at Midrand, that seat would be sold again, and then we'd move to Johannesburg. But now that didn't happen, because Midrand didn't develop as a node quite yet. So what happens now is people to go from Pretoria to Johannesburg and back one long journey, the seat only gets sold once. So the ridership is not as high as, we as, as, as the government anticipated originally. So what happens now is we need to, I think, government needs to increase the ridership by putting in more trains, reducing the headway between trains. So you'd see at the moment they say morning and afternoon peaks, it's um, quite high, they're close to capacity, they can't do anything more. So they need new more trains to be put into the system. So they're going to spend about 3 billion rand, it seems, on new rolling stock and a new depot and new signaling, because as you reduce the headway between trains, you'd also need to put in um, new signaling to accommodate that reduced headway. So um, it will be funded through the Development Bank of Southern Africa. The promise is that it won't go through the national fiscus. For people upset about that 9 million rand subsidy a, a year at the moment. So hopefully we'll see some improvement in ridership on the car train very soon. Thank you. That's the second take show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.